Today I wanted to show everyone uh, the workflow of our filler and capper combined. We just kind of got done with this, these machines um, and just kind of wanted to show a quick video. So I'm going to go ahead and start this matrix filler. I don't have my positioning stops on it so I might have to adjust it a little bit. But let's go ahead and we're going to start filling. And usually while your filler is filling, you'll want to go ahead and start loading up the next tray to get filled. That just a hair. I don't have some of my bottles are different colors that they're still the same diameter, so uh, that's all right for this test. Let's see if I could beat the filler. Whenever you are loading your bottles, I always give them a quick spin to make sure they are seated all the way down in the truck. So basically, uh, these trays are holding 36 bottles, and these are 30 ml bottles, and we're filling MCT oil in them for this test. Your product only touches the tubing, that's what's kind of great about our systems. You don't have to clean out any internal pumps or anything like that. It's just the Cole Palmer plastic fittings, a little bit of uh, stainless steel nozzles, and uh, FDA approved neoprene tubing. Alright, so I got my tray loaded up for the next fill. Again, I don't have stops on this, so I kind of had to eyeball where my tray location is. You'll see the stops when we go to the, the capping system here. And usually the stops are on the matrix filler. Go ahead and just set that off to the side for a second. Alrighty, so we just filled 30, uh, 36 bottles up. I'm going to go ahead and just prop this into the capper. These are the stops that usually the matrix filler has. You just want to slide it all the way in there. I'm going to leave it just a little bit out so I can get the caps on. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the next tray, load it up, and start the next fill. So I'm going to go ahead and get that guy filling. Let me just make sure my eye is calibrated right. Looks pretty good. So now for the capping system, go ahead and just throw your caps on. I kind of give the caps just a little twist to kind of get it started, just to help the positioning of the capper. Whenever you're running this production line, you always just want to make sure the stuff at the beginning of the production line is always done so you're never uh, bottlenecked or, or waiting on, I guess, incoming material. So that's why I already started the filler. And usually for this system, I like three trays. That way when I'm done capping here, I could then... Uh, Get the next bottles loaded by the capper's capping. A few more caps here. Okay, and our compressor might kick on. So I'm going to just tell you this now. So our filler is about halfway done, which means normally I could take that out get the next caps started while this guy's capping so there's not a lot of downtime like you just saw. Let's go ahead though and get this started. So now we're filling in capping.
Now I would normally unload this guy and start putting its caps on and also loading it and getting ready for to load the next tray in here and then starting to fill the next one. So you can see you're going to push through a lot of bottles uh, running our matrix fillers and you can see they're pretty much automated. We also have a new labeler we're going to introduce which if you do got extra time you could just get them out of your tray load this guy up, bring him down, and uh, bring down this guy and he's going to run it for you. I don't have him hooked up though. Um, we're going to introduce, we modified this, this is the MT50 labeler. We modified it uh, with all new electronics to make it a pretty much smart labeler, which makes it super simple to run. We'll be showing you that later this month, but just kind of wanted to show you guys that for right now. We're kind of running low on air, but I did want to kind of turn that off. The air pressure, um, you could run it at 90 PSI. I sometimes will run it a little lower. You could see that it's actually hitting its, its torque setting with the air getting a little lower. And these are super tight. I can't really twist them any tighter. I kick the air back on. 